What's up and welcome to this week's episode of How Not to Summon a Dungeon Master, previously on The Search for Siri. Bloody Baron, I, I, we used to be friends, I need your help, my wife has gone missing. Was it signed with a name or anything? Signed Victor. And shortly the door opens and a... Is it him in a dress? <laughs> no. <laughs> Brilliant. But no. no. <laughs> You hear some rummaging. Must Damn it, the shoe will not go off. No, uh, mustache like a split thing going on. Why are you judging me? Because you're judgy. Because <laughs> we're judgy. Because <laughs> we're judgy. <laughs> and so you go into an uneasy sleep. So you went and met the bloody Baron, who seemed like a conflicted chap. Sus. And mm-hmm. he asked you to uh, firstly really. do a favour for him. He asked you to go and see an old war friend of his, Victor, um, whose wife had gone missing. And he said that if you did this, then it would show that you are capable and he would ask you to do one other thing, which was to find Anna, his wife, who has gone missing. Mm-hmm. So you went, you met Victor and you met... Clem. Clem, the sister of Louise, the wife who went missing. And through your investigation, it led you to a hunter's hut where you found out that Victor was actually a werewolf and Clem had intended to scare her sister with this news that her husband was a werewolf, but it backfired and Victor ended up killing Louise. You left it with Victor killing Clem in revenge and you chose to leave Victor alone. In return, he offered Dimdish a werewolf tooth which contained his curse and you made your way back to the bloody baron's fort where you slept for the night so you awaken the next day the baron has sent a messenger to each of your rooms who has said that he had received news that you had returned and when you're ready to speak with him he is in the garden oh he slept like a baby (laughs) i loved it softest pillows best rooms i'll gather my things Uh, yeah yeah as, as we're walking towards the door, I guess, you know, we'll all meet up as we all walk out of our rooms and that. Yeah. I'll say to the Witcher, Witcher, can we have a conversation about, eventually, a, a werewolf's curse and actually what that entails? Because I have a tooth here that, you know, might help us in the long run at some point. It's not a problem you want to deal with, Dimdish. Imagine a dwarf and werewolf. Oh, well, he wouldn't be like Scrappy Do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're all roughly the same size. It's not. It's not like a halfling or a, like a gnome becomes a werewolf. It's just a miniature werewolf. It's... No, but I want it to be. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, imagine. Actually, to be fair, I don't actually know if that's true. If a gnome did become a werewolf, maybe it is a smaller werewolf. Oh my it god, be a smaller werewolf. It would be a smaller werewolf. Oh my that god, that would be, be bloody so brilliant. It'd be a slightly smaller werewolf. Oh, that's that's brilliant. <laughs> like a yeah. were pomerarian. A <laughs> <laughs> wear sausage dog. <laughs> no, that would be fucking awesome. So you all head out into the gardens, and you can see the Baron is wandering around his gardens, just tending to his flowers. Um, I'll walk up to him. Um, morning, Baron. <laughs> good morning, Witcher. How are you? Uh, very well, thank you. A good, good night's sleep yourself. I struggle to sleep at night. Um, images of war plague me often. Um, it's why I drink a bit too much. Understandable. I feel your pain. You know of war? Yeah, I was um, a doctor on the front lines of the war. So you don't know fighting. of the fighting? No, I just helped the wounded. It's difficult sometimes, the memories, the flashbacks, the it was difficult. Yeah. Remember that when I tell you that we found your friend's wife. You found Victor's wife. Dead. I had feared as much, but at least you found her. And what of Victor? Did he handle the news? He's Left. leaving. He's going to travel and um, sort himself out. And mourn. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Well, then it means you can do what I need you to do then I, as you've already worked out if you wish to know about Cyrilla then uh, I need you to find my wife I'm going to need to see your chambers very well follow me 
and he leads you slowly to the chamber. Would you like to say anything to him on the way? No, I, I'll keep no. it very stub. Yeah. I will, as we're going along, I, I will like make eye contact to him and just like give him like a look of I know some more information about what's been going on now as well. And you stop at a door in the manor, and he just points. The room is untouched, as I said. The last night, Anna was here. Take your time, I will be in my study. And he turns and he leaves. I'll open the door. Thank you very much, Baron. He just nods as he leaves. You walk in, um, and before you seems to be some bed chambers. Um, you see a table in the corner, and the bed across the room. It's quite fancy in here. Would you like to investigate the room? Um, yes. I will start with the bed. Okay, so you head to the bed, uh, I'm gonna... the dining area. Is it still dressed? The bed? The bed. Yes, it is. Um, is it made or disheveled? Give me an investigation on the bed. I'm going to look at like the makeup bit. And stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, sure. Give me an investigation and uh, give me an investigation. If you want to look around the room, yeah. yeah. Sorry? 14. The bed, uh, it looks dishevelled, um, not quite like, it's not like she made the bed and then left. Um, it's a bit dishevelled, but you can also see very faint remnants of quite a large quantity of blood on the sheets. Four. Four. You see nothing. You see a wardrobe. Makeup bits. Yeah, some makeup bits, nothing. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, you wander over and you can see um, on the table, the table's got a lot of scuff marks on it and the candelabra seems broken that was sitting on it as well. Can I look underneath the bed? Uh, you, you Sure, yeah. Witcher, um, oh, when you all went to... Oh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> when you all went to bed last night, I, I stayed up for a bit and... I had some conversation with with the guards around the place, and I, I, I asked some questions around the Baron and his wife, because I knew where we were going with this. They couldn't have a child. Now, I'm not too much of a doctor, but I'm pretty certain our doctor over here will look at those bed sheets over there with blood on. Right. Which might incline me to think that potentially there was a childbirth happened here. Can I do an investigation? You can investigate the uh, the do bed. Medicine? Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, the... I if guess I so. whip those sheets off, I'll whip the, the top sheets mm-hmm. off. Where are the stains? At the foot of the bed. Ten. You could deduce the, the quantity of blood that would make a stain the size of that could be that of childbirth or miscarriage. <clears throat> right, and can I tell how fresh this blood was? Is it about a week old? It's about that. Right, okay. The broken candelabra. Mm-hmm. How is it broken? It looks like it probably struck something. There is also on the wall uh, what looks like a faint outline of a painting that has been moved. And when you look, there is another painting on a different part of the wall. What do you think about the bed? Um, Am I thinking right here? It could either be a miscarriage or she gave birth. But I'm pretty sure we would have heard a baby cry by now. I'm pretty certain there would have been more than just a bit of fanfare about a child coming from people that couldn't have children. If things went right. What do you think, Witcher? I have a feeling that the Baron's not telling us something. Well, he's holding out on information. We need to find out the reason why they couldn't Aye. bear children. That's Him one or thing. Or her. Also, why he would say that his wife is missing when potentially she's dead. Whereabouts, like, I know this is an odd question, but the blood stain mm-hmm. on the sheet At the foot. It's nearer the foot of the bed. Foot yeah, yeah. yeah Near, nearer the foot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Position-wise, if she was laying down, it would it would match up. Is there Start any the blood <clears throat> yeah. on the quilt, though? Yes. On top of the bed that has soaked through. Yeah. Is there much on the top bit? The, the, the quantity would lead you to believe that what you deduced originally. Right, okay. All right. Um, also, Witcher. 
painting that's been moved. Why has it been moved? Unless it's the something different. Painting that was moved. Is yeah. it an additional painting that is missing, or has it been moved into somewhere else? It's in the been room? moved. Somebody's moved it from a section of wall mm-hmm. to another place mm-hmm. that we can see. Yes, I'm going to have a look at that section of wall. So you take the painting off the wall. Aye. Uh, behind it is a hole that has been made in the wall. It's clearly punched a hole in the wall with the candelabra. Um, that would be my assessment. Are there me. any cans of monster around? Or <laughs> no, there's no monster cans around. <laughs> no Stella. <laughs> no wife beaters sprawled around. Does he wear white vests? Yeah. He does not. No. <laughs> All red. He has a big red jacket. Bloody Baron. Hey. Um, anything else we can see in this room, Witcher? Uh, I see a lot of marks on the the dresser. If I put my hand in a fist and put it into the hole in the wall, does it look like it would be the cause, or is there no additional damage? You believe that. What made the hole probably came from the candelabra, and hence why it broke. We need to have a conversation with the Baron. Yeah. I think we're done here. Maybe we should have a conversation with... Before we go to the Baron with unfounded accusations, because unfortunately, I can't tell you 100% that's what happened. I can put two and two together. We should probably have a conversation with some of the staff that would have potentially tended to him that night. If there's childbirth going on, then potentially other people here would know. The maids. Aye. Yeah. Probably be our best source. Could I speak to the staff first? Yes. Okay, so you exit the bedchambers. Um, it's not hard for you to find somebody who works around the top manor. Um, so you can. Co- who would you like to speak to first? The head the maid. concierge. I'd like to go speak to a maid. Yeah. Yeah. There's not really a head guy. Is there not? No. There's just head? staff. All right. Um, so you find a maid who's just cleaning around the manor. Do you want to do the talking or? Um. Excuse me, young lady. I'm curious. The Baron's current state. What caused it? And she looks, uh, the, the Baron, he's sad because Anna's gone missing. It's... Do you know why she went missing? No, none of, none of us know. She seemed happy. Um, we're not sure. Was she pregnant? And she looks confused at that. Anna couldn't bear children as far as we knew. Is it Anna that couldn't bear children or the Baron that couldn't provide? Well, we never really pried into that part. We just assumed because Anna had never had a child that it was just something she couldn't do. The only the only thing that Anna had a bit of a problem with was the Baron. He did drink a lot. I've noticed. When was the last time any of you maids cleaned that bedroom? The Baron told us not to touch the room the night Anna went missing. It's... What was it like when you last went in there? Clean? Tidy? Can you give us a rundown of what happened that evening? The last time that Anna was seen? Anna and the Baron, they had a small fight. Nothing unusual. Um, Sometimes they they would go off at each other, but... Overall, she. Whenever I saw Anna, she would always be smiling. It's, it, Where was the fight? In the bedroom or in the, in the study? Chambers, yes. Um, the Baron. He stormed out. He left, and that was the last time we saw Anna. Like nobody saw her leave. Um, when was the last time you saw her? When. She went into the chambers that evening and had the argument with the Baron. And did she look pregnant at all? Anna did change, I guess, her clothes to a looser fit. But we thought nothing of it. Thank you. 
So nobody saw her come out of the chambers at all? No, no, we were told that she ran away in, in the middle of the night. How would she do that? Where would be the exit? <clears throat> Who told you that? I mean, we have stables, we have horses, Anna could have fled. Who, who told you that she ran away? It's just the word that got around the whole of the estate, the whole of this fort. So it was a rumour? I mean, she's not here, so are there, she's gone. Are there any that you know of, secret ways of getting out of this? No, not that I'm aware of. The, the gate is the only way in and out. However, the guards themselves, they wouldn't stop Anna. If she was to leave, she's free to come and go as she pleases. Thank you for your information. Um, we'll keep this confidential between us two, at least at this point. And she nods, and she goes back to cleaning. Witcher, I think we need to go and speak the to guards. the guards. Ah. The head of the guards would be the start, I think. Mm -hmm. And then the people that are actually on duty that night would be a good start. Yeah. So there is a main head guard who works for the Bloody Baron, almost like a main henchman guy for the Baron. Um, Master at arms sort of thing? Yeah, you can go and speak to him. We should probably go and speak to him, Witcher. Where would we find him? He remains on the estate, but he trains um, just out in the fields. We should go and find him. Yeah. Yep. Also, I think we should have a look around and see if we can find any entrances, or exits, or anything like that around the actual base of the keep. Well, because I'm guessing... Is her chambers on the second floor? If she never yes. left Right, so night. if she left through, like, the window or something, there might have been a scuffle or something for... Especially if she'd just given birth. As or we're whichever. walking, do I see any other members of staff? Yeah, yeah, there, there are a few knocking around. Just want to ask one where the Baron is right now. The Baron, I believe he's in his study. I'm going to go back to the chambers and go look at the window. But the, the yeah, yeah, that's fine. If you want to do that, thing. have a look around in that actual room. See if you can find any potential hidden exits. Yeah, cause she'd anywhere. still be bleeding if she left then. On the floor? Yeah, there'd be more blood around. Especially if she bled that much in a bed. So I want to go investigate the, the room again. Okay. Yep. So you go back to the room. Yeah. Uh, give me another investigation. I want to use my inspiration. <laughs> okay. You use your inspiration. That did not work. No, it did not. <laughs> it was even less inspiring. <laughs> you find no problems with the windows or anything like that. Um, the additional only thing that you find is that in... A bedside drawer, uh, you find a book, um, and the title of the book is The Witches of Crookback Bog. I'm guessing me and you have gone to go and find the guards. And that you are aware of the area that there is actually a, an area called Crookback Bog. Right, okay. Does it seem like a fairy tale type book? The book speaks... Uh, would you like to read it a bit? Yeah. Yeah, so th from the gist of what you can get from the book is that... It speaks of a trail within book Crookback Bog that you can follow. Follow the sweets. Follow the children. And there you will find the witches of Crookback Bog who may grant you your every desire. Oh, I think I can see where this is going. Right, I'll take the book. Okay. And I'm going to go find these two. Okay. We've gone to find the Master of Arms. Yeah, I'm, yes, I wrote that down. Did you speak to that servant? What did you say again? I just asked him where the Baron was. That's right. He stops you, grabs you by the hand as you turn to leave, and he goes, Witcher, everyone round here is plagued by nightmares of this deformed monster. It almost looks like a child, like a baby, but it haunts all of our nightmares. We don't know what it means, but it's got everybody on edge. It's almost like a restless spirit. Since when? When's this been going on since? When did you first have this nightmare? Since Anna left. Since she went missing, this thing 
plagues us. And it's not just us, it's everyone that lives here, the, 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 the common folk that live down below, that they all see this monster. Well, that's why the Baron isn't sleeping. Do you still want to go and speak to the Master at Arms? The... Or do we actually go and speak to the Baron about this? Can you give me an intelligence check as a Witcher, please? At advantage. Can I have a think as well? Uh, you can have a think, yeah, yeah. Am I still uh, not quite there? 20. Um, a 20. I'd still like to talk to the man, though. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. The, um, the Baron's wife, Anna, did she often leave the grounds? Rarely. She would rarely leave the grounds. When was the last time? Everyone says that Anna was happy, happy, happy. And she was. She was. But if you looked at Anna's eyes, she wasn't happy. Something happened. Um, we all know it. We just pretend that we don't. What do you think happened? They would argue all the time. Over. Everything and anything he would drink he would get physical Anna would cry we would hear it who would console her she had no one she confided in no one I think she ran away Witcher I think she ran and didn't want to look back well thank you for your time of course please don't mention this this is between us. And he scurries off. With your 20, you know of a botchling. You've heard of these things. Botchlings are created when a you child... You try to create a child? No, botchlings are created when an unwanted child dies and isn't laid to rest correctly. It comes back as something sinister. First haunting dreams, then killing victims. It grows. Unless it is laid to rest correctly. Your little witcher senses are tingling, thinking that this sounds like the symptoms of a botchling. So, witcher, what, what are we going to do here? Are we going down to uh, see the Master Arms, see if she left? We need to find out if she was... Sneaked out of the house. Then I would imagine the Master of Arms would be the best person to speak to. Me too. And we'll head down there. Okay, so you ask around and you find out that the Master of Arms at the minute, he is his name is Lance. And he is on the grounds at the moment. Uh, he is in the stables, tending to his horse. Um, I'll go in. Um, and I will I'll interrupt him it's an impressive animal Lance turns he is a rat of a man hideous, ugly, balding he looks sneaky and not well liked just from his expression he turns to you, what do you want? Um, just to bend your ear a little have you seen my horse? Yes, I've seen your horse. It's another impressive animal. Yes, of course it is. Perhaps Why, are you trying could... to sell it to me? Perhaps we could just go for a ride. I don't wish to leave the grounds today. We could ride around the grounds. Very well. I'll even let you ride her. Very well. And he climbs upon Luna. Because you've told her so. <laughs> and I will go to Luna yeah. and just pat her face. Yeah. Play nice. <laughs> and he kicks in. A little bit too hard. And you see Luna sort of wince slightly. But you've told her to play nice. And she sets off. Um, are you just climbing on any horse? Um, yeah, if there's one tacked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, there's many in the, in the tied up. So you climb on a horse and you start trotting around the grounds together. I'll stay by the stables. I ain't yeah, getting involved with the horses. Have I actually managed to get there yet? <laughs> you, yeah, you can exit the manor now and you yeah. see Dimdish standing outside the stables. Yeah, I'll just come up to you then. He's Found speaking. Anna yet? Um, I'm working on it. Um, 
I understand you run the operation. This I am the Baron's right-hand man, yes. That's what I've heard. Um, Good at it, too, so I hear. He's alive. I keep him that way. The guards that were on post that night. Idiots. Are they still here? They are. May I have their names so I may converse with them? The man on guard was Kurt. And where is Kurt stationed today, sir? Kurt shovels horse shit in the stables now. Understandably so. You know, I believe that she ran away because she was ungrateful of everything that the Baron has given her. Do you know that? I'm interested in all of your opinions about the matter. <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> there is no way that that was it. Roll fucking deception. Whilst you're doing that, um, I'm going to show you what I found in the bedroom. Oh, what's this? A nice oh. fairy tale? <laughs> 18. Uh, okay. Well, I uh, I believe that she's ungrateful for everything the Baron's done for her, and uh, she would always be a problem for him. So, of course he would correct her at times. Uh, what were the problems that she would cause? Just generally being miserable. All the time. Ungrateful. Complain constantly. I've... Heard she was unable to bear his child. She tried. Well, the Baron wanted a child. He wanted an heir. But she couldn't provide it. I think he should have got rid of her. Love does weird and wonderful things to people. Yes, well, they've been together for a long time. You see, Anna was with the Baron before he went to war. Unfaithful. That's what she was. Unfaithful. When the Baron left for war, she was unfaithful to him. With whom? He's not around anymore, it doesn't matter. Um, something you took care of for the Baron, I imagine. Something the Baron took care of himself. Say less, And fam. since... <laughs> <laughs> uh. And since then, Anna's attitude changed. She became hateful to the Baron. And yet he still loved her. Was Anna privy to the Baron's dealings of justice in the matter? <laughs> she knew what he'd done. She knew. And it made her angry. I sense some jealousy coming from you. Old rat face over here. <laughs> I'm not even there. Just us. I know. <laughs> We're just having a conversation about a book. Yeah. How long ago was that? A few years now. And where was his remains dumped? I have no idea anymore. Couldn't tell you. Don't care. Well, I thank you for your time and this pleasant jaunt. He nods. And he just goes to ride Luna off. <laughs> Luna, down. She bucks. <laughs> and she bucks hard. The rat-faced man Lance falls off of Luna. He... I'll just hop off that tiny little horse yes. I was riding. In he comparison. picks himself up, brushes himself down. It's a shit horse anyway. And walks off. And I'll just stroke her. <laughs> but well trained <laughs> he doesn't say anything he storms <laughs> off um, I'll come back to you guys and relay the information the we, we were whilst he's having that yes. yeah. can we have our conversation you can yeah. so what's this book so as you can probably read <laughs> it's called The Witches of Crookback Bog which is a real place uh, and you, you would I, be aware of uh, yeah Bob. I've heard of it's it it's the stuff of yeah. fairy tales and myth where the witches will grant you anything you truly desire follow the sweets follow the children yeah so that's not advice for our listeners don't do that nope <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> but 
my theory is if she had a miscarriage in that bed, Sorry. she would not be in a great state. And if she'd been reading a book like this, she could be going to the witches to go make a deal to have a baby. Possibly. Um, my other thing might be that I think you're probably right with this. I definitely think it's related. Why would it be in a drawer if not? It, yeah, it was It was on yeah, the side I, of the blood. Oh, but I, oh, okay, where she but, was bleeding. But that side. I think maybe uh, this step came before the first step maybe. of actually maybe they wanted a kid and this might be the way. But we have to talk to the Baron about it, I think. Yeah. This is a conversation that only can be brought up through the Baron, I think, now. Do I know that Crookback Fog is close-ish to here? Somewhat. A few days away. Yeah. Right. We'll wait for the Witcher to come back from his pleasant travel with the man-at-arms that's in charge of this place. Oh, what's he like? I, uh, delightful. <laughs> you only saw, you only salt of the earth. You know you I was going to go and say that. I was going to say it like this, though. You, salt of the earth. You, know, you would also know that there's a small settlement called Crookback on the edge of the bog as well. Right. Slightly back. <laughs> um, we'll wait for him. Yeah, so I'll join them again. Yep. I'll relay everything. He um, sounds a bit jealous. He sounds like a prick. Totally. And I'll walk into the stables. Okay. You do see a man shoveling shit. Um, Looks rotund, a bit simple. Sir, um, if you could spare a few moments from your duties. He turns and looks at you. Can I help? I'm hoping so. And he sighs, a deep sigh. I don't want to get in any more trouble. Nothing you say to me leaves. What would you like to know? You were on guard that night. No, I don't believe you did anything nefarious. But I think you may have helped a woman out of this hellhole. I... I... He looks around. I told everyone that Anna... Miss Anna, she tricked me to leave but I didn't I, I let her go so she has gone she she, she ran away did I she think. say where she said she was heading to a friend who was going to get her a boat to Oxenfort but she also said that she let everyone know all of us that cared about her that she would be alright but none of us have heard anything and she should be there by now what did she have in her possession when she left she took barely anything she was happier though when she was leaving Miss Anna she had a, she had a miscarriage and but it's almost like she wanted one I don't know what happened? But she seemed happy about it. Did she look wounded there and then? No, she looked fine. Did, there was no blood? No. When did she have the miscarriage? But was it the day that she left? Was it a couple of days? The night before she left. Do you know where the child is buried? Baron, he... took it somewhere. Thank he you. was distressed. He was upset. We don't know what he did with it, though. Thank you. That's it. I think we have more than enough to go and speak to Thank you for your time. He nods, and suddenly, from round the corner of one of the stables, a grotesque, tiny, ugly-looking creature walks out. Big, rotund eyes pulsating out of its head, and it looks at you all. And Kurt turns, don't worry, that's Uma. The Baron, he, he won him in a card game. 
he we don't know what he is he's just a little symbol monster thing he doesn't do anything he just wanders around and they try and kind of treat him as like a little jester or something we don't know but he seems all right how long has he been here uh he's been here quite a while now i'm gonna go up to um, uma 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 Thurman. <laughs> no, the little creature looks at you. And I'm going to kneel down and be like, hello, and put my hand it, out. Look, it, go, it, just, it just says Uma. Okay. I'm going to try Is and it like a Pokemon? Food. Sort of. It looks at it. Uma. Uma. I'm going to give it some food. It, it eats the food. Can I touch it? You can. It's quite grotesque. Warty. What does it look like? Like, I mean, like, does it look like a misformed person? It's got human-esque features, but it's, you couldn't say what it is. Where does it sleep? Oh, it's, it, it sleeps in the stables. With me. I look after Rumor. Bar you say he's been here for a while, how long? Uh, I don't know, weeks, months. It's been a while now. How many miscarriages did Anna have? One. That you know of? Yes, Miss Anna, we didn't think Miss Anna could have a child, but um, she did. You know that this is not a botchling, looking at it. You think this is just a very unfortunate, deformed person. So it is a person? In a way. All right. Uh, I think we should go and speak to the Baron. Nice to meet you, Uma. Um, just, Uma. Bye, um, Kurt. It, waddle, it waddles <laughs> back into the stable. <laughs> Thank I'll, you for your time. I'll tell Luna to stay. Okay. Are you going to see the Baron? Yeah. Hey. You were told he's in his study. So. I, I feel like this is going to be quite a confrontational <laughs> meeting. So. <laughs> okay. So you make your way to the Baron's study and you knock on the door and you hear his voice. Enter, Witcher. I know it's you. Baron. And you go in and you can see him sitting at his desk, a big glass of whiskey in front of him. I, I... Tell me you've got news of your investigation. Um, finish your drink first, sir. He does. He throws it back very quickly and necks it. Um, pour another one. He pours one. For you? I'm okay, thank you. Very well. He's on job. Very well. I'll, I'll be kicked out on the say. Yes, place. please, take a seat, everybody. Mm. I need you to tell me of your wife's pregnancy and what happened. A dark look comes over his face. You found out about the child. The worst kept secret in this building, yes. <sighs> we tried for a long time. And eventually, Anna fell pregnant. How? And don't give me the birds and the bees. It, a miracle? It must have been like she fell pregnant and I was happy, but Anna, she, she didn't seem too pleased. Was it something to do with this book? He looks at I have no idea of that book. Anna would read it sometimes, but... Did she ever disappear no. other than this? No. No. Um, the night before she went missing, we had a fight. Over Nothing. What? Petty things. Anna would always know how to push my buttons. It was a small fight. I left. And when I came back, there was blood everywhere. The child, it was gone. And... The candelabra, how did that get broken? Again, a uh, uh, look crosses You're his face. You're leaving gaps out in the story, Baron, and it's not something that I tolerate. He looks at all of you and please don't think bad of me. That means we're going to think bad of you. I did love Anna. I still do. I went to war, Witcher, in a good place with her. And when I returned, I found out she was unfaithful many times. And that she was leaving 
me for this man. I went to war and suffered and waited for her and she couldn't wait for me. And I got angry and I killed him. And she had no choice but to stay. And I thought maybe it would go back to normal. But it didn't. You could see the disdain in her eyes for me. The hate that she had developed. And so I drank to forget the memories of everything. And we would fight a lot. And I would hit her. I would strike her. Not hard. But I thought maybe eventually she'd love me. And then the baby and, and the miscarriage and, and then now she's gone. And I don't know where. Where is the baby? I buried it. Where? Where in your garden? In the dead of night, I took it away from the house and I put it in a burnt down shack you left beneath it the earth. You left it alone. I didn't know what to do with it. I panicked. Where is this shack? I can show you if you want. We'll need it. Because... How long have you had the nightmares? I've always had nightmares. But recently, I've been plagued by ones of... Some sort of creature. Child. Baby. I don't know what it is. But it all started as soon as Anna left. I will cure you of your nightmares and you will tell me the information I want and then we will part ways. Very well. Where is this shack? And he stands and he ushers for you to follow him. And slowly he leaves the manor, leaves the grounds and you walk a little way until you come across one of the shacks in the middle of the shanty town that is beneath his manor and he points at what is clearly a shallow grave that has been dug in the grounds of this shack but it's unearthed and empty it was here the grave it's empty now who knew you put it here nobody did Anna know? I was alone when I came there that night. It was dark. It was... The wind was raging. The, the rain was pouring. Nobody could have known. You know, a botchling is essentially the corpse of a child come back to life. But in a deformed way. Got it's any Uma. ideas, Witcher? Got any ideas? Uma is definitely not the botchling. Uma is a deformed creature, but not a botchling. Right. Do you want to look around? Yeah. 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 I'll have an investigate of the area, I think. Perception or investigation? You can look perception-wise, or you can investigate by rummaging around. It's up to you. Investigate. Yeah. It's a nine. A nine. You wander around the shallow grave, and again, it indicates clear signs that this poor fetus that was miscarriaged has transformed and become a botchling it's clear to you dig itself out yes what 13 13 12 and a 12 13 uh, are you investigating or investigating investigating so you wander around the burnt down shack and you wander around as well and you start moving some bits and pieces and suddenly you move a piece of wood and you see it no. Ugh. Back off. Oh, Back off. That is... What, I, I wasn't the one doing it, right? I wasn't the one that no. called it. No, like, Ren moved a piece of wood and... You see it, and it... Sleep. Gurgles. Right. At you. Ooh, what the fuck is that, Witcher? Do I know how well, to I solve found this it. problem? A botchling needs to be laid to rest correctly. Needs to be loved. Needs to be named. Needs to feel warmth and happiness Does it that ha- it didn't get to have in life. Does it have to be from the actual mother? Or father. Oh, fuck. And then it will transform. It will become a spirit. It will pass on. 
and the spirit itself will become what you would call a lubberkin. And a lubberkin can be a guide to help you if needed. Um, I will turn then as you obviously gasp. Um, <laughs> yeah. And sigh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Botchlings are volatile creatures. Yeah. Anything that startles it, surprises it, anything like that could set it off. Um, I will... Yeah. Talk to the Baron. Um, he, lo- he looks over at the botchling as well. What is that? Um, do I see if it's got a willy or not? Is that a boy or a girl? Uh, you can, s- yeah, it's it's yeah, it's got a winky. That's your son, Baron. What do I do? You remain calm. They're very sensitive things. Children. What was your name? My real name? It's Arthur. A good name. I suggest you pass it on as a gift. What are we going to do with your witcher? Are we got to bury this? We don't have to do anything If it's yet. to be buried, let me bury it in my garden. The place where Anna loved and what I love. We'll get to that. Who are you to that boy? I'm the father. Good. And go treat it as such. Properly. And he tentatively nods and turns and he very gently bends down and he scoops the botchling into his arms and he just looks at it for a little while I'm so sorry Arthur I panicked I never wanted any of this I was so happy when I heard that you were going to be here and Devastated when you weren't. Which are where do we go? It's your son. And he holds it close and he leaves. He walks out of the shack. I'll and... stop him on the way out. Yeah. Don't you dare hide it. Very well. Be prideful. And he walks out. And the people see. They stand, they stare, they talk, but obviously none approach. As the Baron makes a slow walk back up towards the manor. We'll walk up with him. Yeah. Hey. Makes sense. And he slowly walks to the gardens where he stops and he turns and he looks at you all. Would you dig the grave for me? Hey. Of course. And you do, you dig Where would you prefer? Just in the garden somewhere. And where did your wife love? May I suggest near the bench? Yep. And so you begin to dig, and you you dig what you believe is a a deep enough hole. All the time, the baron sits upon the bench, talking to the botchling, to his child. And eventually, you tell him that it's time. He gets down close to the grave and he places the botchling in the grave. I hope you're happier now than you would have been in life, Arthur. And the botchling gurgles and he slowly begins to cover. You know, it's a process. The botchling will turn over time. Uh, It won't take long. Witcher, I'm going to go and back to my study and I'm going to sit down for a little while. And he just very slowly trudges off back to his manor as you sit by the bench. Would you like to wait for the transformation? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make sure. 
few hours go by and suddenly the same image the same botchling you saw before but in spirit form rises from the soil and looks at you all and then it drifts off but it stops as it gets a bit further away from you turns and ushers for you to follow I'll then, stand up yeah. and it we'll takes follow. off it takes off quite fast we better follow it I will we'll take off. whistle for Luna Luna comes flying to your side and following I'll, on horseback I'll fly so this thing moves and I mean moves so the two of you are lost behind as it takes off and the witcher follows we'll just keep trying to run we're uh, the slow jog yeah. We'll, we'll get there you, you could see where Luna's making tracks yeah she's yes. fucking heavy yeah. 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 yeah you'd be able to track him we'll, we'll um, make our way yeah eventually yeah. Fact, after what is god can we speak to the two, the guy in the stable Kurt get horses right. we'll get yeah, horse. yeah, yeah yeah you can speak to yeah, yeah. It, uh, Kurt would allow that you can yeah. say the Baron we'll said it was okay hey. um, so you're not far behind him then when you set off although his war horse would be faster wait who's got the better animal handling no, these horses are fine. They're all trained. All right, it's fine. I was about to say. Eventually, after about half an hour, you are following this botchling when, or the Lubber King that it is now, when suddenly it stops at this muddy trail and it starts spinning in circles. And you look down and you can see on the ground just this huge horse that's been ripped apart. And you're like, what has happened here? And you look around you and you just see bits and pieces of a horse. Now by huge horse, do you mean like my size horse? No, just a larger, larger larger horse. Normal horse, yeah. Okay. And then it flies off again and you take off after it again. And it stops on the edge of a lake at a hut and start spinning around over the roof of the hut. Do you not? Um, yeah, I'll get off Luna. Um, and I'll nod the Lubbock and, and it and disappears as soon as you acknowledge it. You knock on the door and a voice comes. Hello, who's there? I'm looking for someone. Who? And I was led Who? here. Who are you looking for? Um... Hopefully the Baron's ex-wife. It gets very quiet. I don't know nothing about the Baron's ex-wife. Is it a male voice? Yes. Um, I'm not here to bring her back. He opens the door and before you is a young gentleman. And he looks at you. I, uh, I was helping her escape the fort we nearly got away but then suddenly something came out of the trees knocked Anna off her horse ripped it to pieces grabbed her and and disappeared into the forest with her did you get a good look at it the thing it, it looked like it was huge big monster massive antlers I don't know what it was but it ran off it took her off into the direction of Crookback Bog that was the last I saw of Anna do you know what this book is? you're not there, well, there. <laughs> you're not there yet <laughs> When I get to what there, what you would do is I'll you ask. would come across the ripped apart horse. <laughs> I'd look um, at the horse. Yeah, as he's having his conversation at the hut. I'd look at the horse. <clears throat> I'd have a look, see if uh, there was any markings on there for the bloody Baron estate. Any like logo or any the horse? Emblem. No, nothing. Probably stripped of him to hide. Can I have it's been over a week. He's a bit. De- de- Can I have a look? Fabric would be fine. Yeah, fabric would be fine. But it's very muddy. I look at. Um, the area and see if I can spot potentially where he's gone because you would see his horse's trail lead off again from the scene I'll, I'll motion to follow you that. would know that obviously that horse is not Luna yeah and you can continue on All right 
you have some time with this man. Why did you help her? She was a lovely woman, Anna. She looked after everybody. She cared about everybody. And I didn't like what the Baron was doing. That's the right answer. How did you help her out? We all did. What was the long plan? The plan was that I was to put her on a boat and send her to Oxenfort. She was going to start her new life there. It's the second largest city. She'd find a way. But we didn't get that far. And by we, I'm assuming you mean members of the staff that felt the same way that you felt. Yes. Why has no one acted to find her? From what... Nobody knows what happened to her. Every, everyone thinks she followed me and got to Oxenfort. I... Why haven't you told anybody? I guess she's dead. That thing, it, the monster that came out, it, it ripped that horse apart, grabbed her, ran off with her. Surely she can't be alive. I'm lucky I got away. You fucked up. She's alive. That can't be right. She can't be alive. And I'll walk back. I you leave him out. stumped at the doorstep as he tries to process what you've said. <clears throat> and you approach the hut and you see the witcher standing outside the hut. Is Anna in there? No, just some fucking idiot. Oh. Alright. Did well, you see the wait. horse? Yes, the brutally murdered one. Hey, ripped apart. That's where we'll find our next clue. So we go back to the dead horse. Okay. Got it. And you head back to the dead yeah, I'll horse. Yeah, hop on Luna and gently trot that one. The scene is the same, obviously. A ripped apart horse, limbs everywhere. What are we looking for here, Witcher? Uh, this horse was attacked by something much larger. The man said it had antlers. And then, oh, I like that. Was mm. together as well. Would you like to use your witcher knowledge? Yes. Have a good think with your witcher mind. Give me an intelligence check at advantage. Can I ever look for deer tracks? Or hoof prints? Uh, hoof prints, which were not. 17. There. 17. You are very familiar with the sound of antlers. As soon as they said antlers, you were like, I think I might know what that is. I haven't seen one, but I've seen pictures in your Witcher book. I will only send this to you because these two aren't seeing this. You are aware of a thing called a fiend. Large, vicious creatures. Very rare. There's not many of them left in the world. They were once controlled by witches and used as pets. Okay. Um, so what are we looking for, Witcher? Uh, a monster. Okay, what sort of monster? Large, disgusting thing. Three eyes. Three eyes? Antlers. They were pets once. Pets? Of who? Witches. Could it be the same witches that are from this book? fucking lootly. Oh, it's the first time she's pulled the book out. <laughs> there you go. No, what? That's not the first time. No, to, to him it is. Oh, this so book. So she reveals a book to you that you've um, never seen. Oh, I will skim the pages. Oh. So you very, read, very you read it as well. Uh, the fairy tale, the story of the witches of Crookback Bog. And it says, as I said before, follow the sweets, follow the children, and you will meet the witches of Crookback Bog, who will grant your every desire. But I know of Crookback. You know of Crookback Bog, the fairy tale, and you know of Crookback... The town. The town that sits on the edge of a bog. Um, so... Do I know where it is in relation to where we are? Yes, yeah, not far. Yeah. Witcher. And the trail... The man said that the thing that grabbed Anna ran off in the direction of Crookback Bog. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Witcher, 
why would the witches of Crookback want this woman? That's something we need to work out. But I think we've just turned it into a rescue mission. Sounds about right. You never know, Siri might be there, two birds, one stone. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and so you head to Crookback Bog. Yeah. Yep. Or the village of the village I of assume, yeah? the village of. Follow the children's sweets. <laughs> Dead horses? Does that as long count as you too? Don't say sweet children, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually you come across the village of Crookback and you see a man standing there with open arms. As if he's waiting for you. He he turns to all of you and he goes, Welcome. Welcome to Crookback. Find out next week what the village of Crookback is all about. If you've got any questions or queries or just want to see what we're up to, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at How Not To Summon or join our Discord at How Not To Summon A Podcast or go to our website at HowNotToSummon.com where you can find all our links. I've been your DM, Sheenie Senpai. I've been Jim. I've been Ren. Oh, hold on, wait. <laughs> I've been Dim Dish. <laughs> I've been Ren. And I've been your Witcher. See you later, guys. Bye. See you. Ta-ra.